This is video number three. And I am now on the good unit. I am hooked up in parallel with the compressor connected to the inverter board. So this is the 96,000 BTU unit. And you can see I have them marked. U goes on to U. You can see that anywhere. And then W or V is going on to V. And then W is W. And the colors and the lines make up, uh, correlate to what they're hooking up to. I always mark all my lines on test equipment and my ends to match the same these came unmarked it's always nice when you're dealing with electrical stuff you know exactly where everything is going you might get a phone call and get disturbed one of your apprentices with you might ask you to come over and do something or show you something as you're hooking up you delay you turn around and then you hook back to the wrong connector whether it's just diagnostic equipment that can't hurt any, anything or something very important that can hurt you or your equipment, it's always good to double check yourself. We're all human, mistakes can happen. But there's a difference between a mistake and either not knowing or a mistake and being just completely irresponsible. Remember, I'm just showing this for entertainment. Do not follow what I am doing. Read the instructions of the piece of equipment you got and the piece of equipment's manufacturer installation and service manual. There we go. And you can see the fan starting to turn. Remember, this is the known good unit. This is the unit that has been running in backup mode. And it's hard to see. Okay, the lights are less, but they are working. There they go. And as it goes faster, you can see the reds. The reds are the hardest to see. As the inverter goes faster, they become solid because once you get above 60 cycles a second, now the blinking that you're seeing is in the camera. To my eyes, all the lights are solid. They are not blinking. Because it's above 60 cycles a second so anytime you flicker a light on faster than 60 times a second the human eye sees it as a solid on light so this is normal operation everything's working this unit has been put up with the dip switches into backup mode this system has been all closed off and isolated, and this is uh, in backup mode. This communication system has to stay in backup mode, and this has to stay powered up because it's also sending out a signal to the number of heads out there, and if it doesn't jive with the capacity, it'll shut it back down for safety. So you have to keep the board powered up and looking in the communication lines due to the amount of air handlers we have downstairs. You don't just shut off the system and try to operate the other system. Read the manual, RTF. And another thing I'll do, I think I'll show you guys how a good bad compressor and a good compressor ohm out. You do not ohm out these variable compressors and try to determine if they're good or bad. That is not the way this works. But I think just for a video, I just might do that. I'll take these apart, the good one, the bad one, and see what our results are. I know what it's going to be, but I've had guys call me up telling me they're changing compressors or a whole entire unit because I got zero to ground. Everything is grounded out. It's no good. It must be a bad unit. Uh, that's another story for another time, but go ahead and um, Homer Simpson and you just go ahead and do that. Be back.